Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own balloon uh, stuffer. Okay, this um, you can alter it uh, a few different ways to make a bigger stuffer or you really want to do a smaller stuffer. But um, it's going to be a good one. Stay tuned right after this. Okay, so for this tutorial, just follow with me. I'm not going to do the exact thing because I made one already. This actually came from a uh, someone on Facebook in our balloon group. They were requesting a uh, how to make a balloon stuffer. Um, there is another video in Spanish that makes something similar, but uh, I've tweaked it a little bit, made it my own, and I think one works a lot better and it's a lot easier to construct. Okay, so first thing you're going to need is a five gallon lid. Uh, okay. I like the ones from Home Depot. The ones at Home Depot actually have a little rubber seal, and that's going to actually hold the air in uh, better. So it's going to give it a, a better seal, so I would use that. We're going to use a, this is half inch PVC pipe, just a small piece. This is may, may or may not be necessary, but I use it uh, in this case. I'll tell you why in a little bit. Uh, then I also have a three inch PVC pipe here. This is actually a three inch to a four inch adapter that's threaded. Okay, you don't need to have that in there. I like to use this because it actually gives something to catch when you pull it through the hole that we're going to make. Okay, but you could easily just use a three inch pipe here. Okay, PVC pipe. Uh, so we have a three inch PVC pipe. We have our lid. And then we're also going to go ahead and this is a, if you can see here, this is something called a check valve. Okay, this is used for plumbing and uh, you find it in the plumbing section of Home Depot. And this is basically going to let air get sucked out and not go back the other way. It's called a check valve. Uh, this one I'm using is actually for water, but it works quite well with air, and that's what I'm using here. Uh, it's a three quarter inch um, brass check valve. Okay, find that in the plumbing department, Home Depot. If you have that, we're just gonna need some uh, tools. We have a, a, a knife here. Okay, so this is a razor knife that's gonna help us cut into the, uh, the lid. And then uh, you can also use scissors. What I personally like, which I don't have with me here, is you could also use tin snips. They're meant for cutting like aluminum or, or metal, but they work really well for cutting the hole in the lid. So if you have a pair of tin snips, check your garage, ask your husbands or your wives if they know what they are, but that's what you need. Okay, and last but not least, I'm using epoxy here. This is a marine epoxy that bonds to plastic or metal. You could use a uh, different type of silicone or different types of glue. I've used the epoxy, it works fine for me, so uh, if you use the epoxy, it will work, but I'm not saying there is an other better way to do it, you could use that as well. All right, so let's get started here. So basically, you're just gonna wanna take your PVC uh, piece and you're gonna put it on top of your lid and you're gonna draw a circle right around it, okay? Then, you're gonna take your knife, starting from the center of that circle that you drew, and draw a straight line through the plastic, okay, just to have your starting point. Once you have that line broken, you can either finish with the knife and cut the circle out, or you could use um, the scissors, and once you have that broken part, you would stick it in and then cut your circle around. This has to be as evenly as possible and as close to the circle as possible, because if you have, if it's off a little bit or not right, then it's gonna be less likely to seal, okay? So once we cut our hole inside our lid, very easily, we're going to go ahead and just stick your PVC through it. You pull it up to the top to make sure it's tight, and then we're going to go ahead and just epoxy it. That's what I did. I epoxy the top, and then I epoxy the bottom. Same exact thing for your check valve, okay? You just want to make sure when you put your check valve in that you test it, that air is coming, This the flow is going out of the, um, out of, uh, out of the lid. So if you suck on it, I can suck. If I try to go the other way, Okay, the air's not gonna go through. All right, there's a little check valve. If I flip it upside down, that's what's gonna prevent the air from going. But anyway, once you have that, you just turn it upside down, you take your PVC, and you measure this the length of your bucket. Okay, you're gonna take your five gallon bucket, you're gonna measure it. You measure your bucket, and then you put a little PVC in there, probably from about here to there is gonna be your measurement. All right, once you have that, you stick it on, you can use epoxy to attach that, and you wrap the tape around. Once you have that, that's it, okay? Since I'm not showing you really how to cut out the holes, I mean, I hope that you can follow along. It's not, it's not hard at all. So, once you have that, we tape it around. Once you have 
the epoxy, very simple, lid, PVC, check valve, pipe. We put it on top of our bucket. Make sure you seal it nice. And now we have our balloon stuffer. Now, you're going to need, this works with, this is going to work with 18-inch balloons. We have an 18-inch balloon here, okay? Also, 18 inches and above, 24 inches, 36 inches. The tough part is getting the balloon onto the top, okay? With any balloon stuffer, that's always going to be the biggest hurdle. Uh, but what you want to do is just roll it down. Roll your balloon down to where it gets bigger, okay? You put it on, through, and you just wrap it around. Oopsie. You spread it over and on, okay? Now we have that. Now the only last thing you're going to need to do is get a, any household vacuum that has the hose connection. I have a vacuum here, I think it's a shark, where you, you can disconnect it from the bottom piece. We're just going to put that hose right on top, and I'm going to show you how that works right now. Alright, so basically all we're going to do is take your vacuum, or your hose from your vacuum, put it on and put it right on top of that check valve. Now, if you look inside, you have your balloon. It's staying inflated because of this check valve. If you don't have this check valve, as soon as you release the vacuum, the air is going to fall out. Okay, I mean, come out. Alright, so now you have your balloon. I don't know if you can see it in there. Yeah, have your balloon ready to go, and then you can start stuffing it with whatever type of uh, items that you want. You can put stuffed animals in there, balloons, whatever the case may be. Quick note, all right, there's your balloon stuffer. Um, it's not that big, so you're not going to be able to, you know, if you're doing a 36 inch balloon, you're only going to be able to fill it up the size of this container. But if you go to a pool store, um, right now it's springtime, they actually have bigger uh, bigger containers with bigger lids. You can get like a 15 gallon or 20 gallon bucket with a lid for like chlorine, but that would work fine too. And you would actually have a bigger container, so you would actually be able to put everything else in there and uh, be able to put in bigger stuffed animals or a whole bunch of different balloons. And this cost, this whole cost for this is like less than 20, maybe 15 dollars for all the materials needed. So real quick, real easy, balloon stuffer for you. I hope you like it. Um, check out my other videos. I have a whole bunch more coming out. I got a whole bunch of cool stuff planned. So make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thumbs up if you like it and see you later.